Hello students and welcome to Roshi's Education Point. Today we will be studying about the types of economy. In the earlier video we have already studied what is an economy, how does an economy works. So in this video we will be starting with the types of economy. As you can see there are basically three types of economy. Number one is a capitalist economy or a market economy. This is one and the same thing. Capitalist economy is also called market economy. Then the second one is your socialist economy. The other name of socialist economy is your planned economy. And the third is a mixed economy. This mixed economy is clear by the name that it is a combination of both the capitalist economy as well as the socialist economy. So first let us find out what is a capitalist economy that is what is a market economy. It is an economic system in which all material means of production, all material means means all the important means of production are owned and operated by the private with the profit motive. So this economy is solely based on the motive of profit earning. It is not based on the motive of caring social benefits but the sole purpose of this economy is profit motive. Here every equipment, every factor of production is owned by private individuals, private firms that is why it is known as a market economy or a capitalist economy. Here, the, all the means of production are owned by a single person, are owned and operated by the private. There is no involvement of the government sector in this type of economy. The examples of such economy in India today is your coaching institutions. The government is not running any coaching institutions as of now. So, market economy, best example is your coaching center. Only private institutions are involved into it. Even in your educational business, there are schools of government. But in the coaching sector, there are no schools of the government, no coaching institutions, nothing. So it is solely operated by a private sector. That is one example. Now the private sector will only work when it is profitable to them. That means it will only work for their welfare, for their profit. Yes, they will always think for the society on a large basis, but it will also think for their personal profit as well. So we should keep in mind that this economy will first prioritize over their profit and second is for the society at large. Second type of economy is your planned economy and the other name of planned economy is your socialist economy. By the name only it is clear that it is for the society at large. And when it is for the society at large, we do not make it from the purpose of profit motive. So now, this is not owned by a private sector, it is owned by the public sector. Public or I can say by the government or any centrally planned authority. Centrally planned authority means all the decisions are taken at the central level. We do not distribute the authority to take the decision. We distribute the work, but we do not distribute the authority. We have a centrally planned economy. We have a centrally planned authority who takes all the important decisions in these cases. So this was your market economy and a planned economy. An example of planned economy is your railways. The railways are solely controlled by your government. No private sector can put on tracks and can set their private trains. No, it's not possible. So the railways are solely in control of your planned economy or your socialist economy or your government. Now the third is a mixed economy. Mixed economy by the name is clear that it is a mixture of capitalist economy and socialist economy. Here, if there is any business Half of it is governed by the private sector and the other half is governed by your government. 
so both of them have an equal share example is your educational institutions educational institutions is your school there are schools which are governed by private institutions and there are also schools which are governed by your government so it is a mixture of both and even not this only there are more than these there are such joint ventures where the private and the government sectors are having shares for example total is 100 percent it is having 50 and it is having 50 or 10 90 the ratio can be anything but if the private and the public sector are combining in mixture and are doing the work together we will categorize them under the category of your mixed economy so these were your three economies which you need to learn in order to understand what is the overall economy thank you so much